All right. So let's take a look here at this first graph. OK? OK. So what kind of transformations do we see here? How is it shifted? Okay, it shifted left, one, two, three, right? So it shifted left, three. Is it shifted up or down at all? No. Nope. So it's not up or down at all. Um, is, there a, is there an A value here? Like, what is our slope here, would you say? I'd say it's one, right? If you want to count it, right, we can kind of see up one, right one. Yeah, that's about right. Up one, right one. That's about right. Up one, right one. Up one, right one. Okay, so it looks like our slope is one. So that means A is one. Okay, so remember that for an absolute value equation, right, we have these kind of, um, oops, okay, just like this. We have these kind of transformations, right? So, well, we just said our slope was 1, that means A is 1, right? So our equation is going to be f of x equals 1 times the absolute value of x, plus three. very good, plus 3, right? Because if we're going to go left 3, we need to put the plus 3 in with the x, OK? And then do we need to put a number on the outside? What's our k? What's our k here? Do we shift up or down at all? No. No. So we can put a plus 0 if you want to, but it's not necessary. This is all we need to say right here. Okay. There it is. There's our equation. <clears throat> Next, let's take a look at another one here. Okay, so we'll look at this guy right here. I'll zoom in on it better, maybe. Okay. okay. What kind of transformations do we notice here about this one? Okay, shift it right to. I'm going to write it up here. Okay, right to. Anything up or down? Nope. What about our slope? Up one, right one, up one, right one. So it looks like the slope is one. OK. So let's go to our equation here. f of x, in this case, is going to equal. So if our slope is one, that means a is just one, right? And then absolute value, x, what? So yeah, minus 2, because we're going right 2. OK, and then are we shifting up or down at all? No, so we don't have to put anything on the outside. That's it. That's our answer. OK. Let's see here. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip some here. I'm gonna skip down one. Okay. I'm gonna go down one from here. Okay. So I'm gonna skip down one. Ready? Anyone still writing here? No. All right. Skip down one to this one right here. Okay. This one right here. How are we shifted here? Okay. So right one two three. Sorry. I want just. I want this one right here. This is here. It's this one right here. I'm on. Yeah, you're talking about this one, weren't you? Okay, sorry, this one. Okay. So yeah, we're right three and up one. What's our slope? Slope is one over one. Yeah, so so we'll just say slope is one. Okay. So again, thinking in terms of you know um, f of x equals a absolute value x minus h plus k, right? Thinking in terms of this. Okay. What's our a going to be here? It's the slope, which is just one, right? Sorry? You're good? Okay. What's the h value going to be here? Well, we're shifting right 3, so it's going to be x minus 3, right? x minus 3, because we're going right 3. And then plus k, well, we're going up 1, so what should my k be? Plus 1, yeah, just like that. There it is. Let's do one more here together. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down one more here. So down one more. Let's do this one here. Okay. 
So I'm doing, if I zoom out here, it's the bottom row, second one in from the bottom row. Okay. How are we shifted here? Okay, we'll get to the slope in a second. Just how are we shifted? Which direction are we shifted here? Jackson? Right three. Right three. Jackson, are we shifted up or down at all? No. no. All right. And then Kaylee, yeah, you said you were trying to count the slope, you said, right? What did you count the slope to be? Yeah, one over two. Up one, right two there. Exactly right. So it's one half. Okay. So again, thinking in terms of y equals a times the absolute value of a. Oh. Um, okay. So if we've got a times absolute value of x minus h plus k, Okay, what's our A going to be in this one? Yeah. One half, yeah. Okay, what's our H? We're going right three, so what's our H going to be here, folks? Minus three. Mm -hmm. And then are we going shifting up or down at all? Yeah. Nope, so we don't have to put anything at the end there. That's our answer. Okay, that's our answer. Okay. Questions on any of that? So, right, so what I want you guys to do, we're going to flip over our papers here to the other side real quick. Okay, so now that you guys have gotten a taste for what it is to like graph and stuff like that, okay, flip your papers over and we're going to look at one of these three at the top here. Okay? So pick one for me. One, two, or three. Which one do you want to go over? I heard two? Zero? We can't do number zero. Okay, we'll do number two here. Okay, so take a look at number two on the, again, this is on the back side of what we just did, right? We just did this one right here, flip over to the back. We'll review this real quick, okay? There's, there's our function, okay? What kind of transformations do you see here? What kind of transformations do we see here? What's the x plus one going to do? It's gonna shift left one. And what's the plus two going to do? Up two. What's our slope here? Yeah, the, the slope was just a, we'll assume it's a one, so the slope is one. Okay, so left one, up two, there's my new vertex, right there. Okay, and I'll count my slope. Up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one, and then the other way, of course, too. Up one, left one, up one, left one, and we'll connect the dots. Okay. What is the domain of this graph? Negative infinity to infinity, right? Okay. What's the range? What's the lowest y value here? Two. Two. What's the highest y value here? Infinity. Ugh. Okay. What are our intercepts? Right? That's what INT stands for. So let's talk about x-intercepts first. Do we have any x-intercepts? No, there aren't any, right? It never crosses the x-axis, so there are none. But for the y-intercept, do we cross the y-axis? Yes, at Is it four? Three. Yes, you're right, Kelly. Yes, zero, three. Very good. Oops, and I forgot. I should have listed the transformations down here. So the transformations were we went left one, we went up two, and we have a slope of one. Okay. So that's our answers there. Okay. What's the coordinate for the vertex here? I know it didn't ask it, but if we wanted to say what the vertex coordinate were, what is the coordinate for the vertex here? Okay. Negative one, Negative one, two. Yeah, it's just where the point is. Okay, it's the point. How it shifts. Okay. So. Um, I would talk about it, yes, because the slope is really talking then about like the vertical structure shrink. Oh, okay. So there's no there's no vertical structure shrink here, I guess you'd say as well. Okay, so in other words, no structure shrink. OK, 
Okay. So no stretch or shrink. Since the slope is just one, that means there's no stretch or shrink there, right? If it was two, you got a stretch of two. If it was a one half, you had a shrink of one half. That kind of thing. Okay. <coughs> All right. Questions on any of that? All right. So um, here's what we're gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna pass out the quick check now. Okay. We're gonna do that quick check. If you finish the quick check early, your homework will be the odds on this side. So that's one, three, and one, and three. Okay? That's going to be your homework. What's that? Quick check is today. Quiz tomorrow. So quick check, remember, that's the thing where we just pull you in for set if you, if you don't do so hard. Yes. Okay? Quick check is just one problem. Okay, it's what we just talked about right here, this one right here. Okay. No, yes, but please you, you, you don't look at it. I want you to give me what you know, okay? I already know what you know. I know you do, right. So Kaylee, just get it done for me then. That's all you gotta do. Okay? So if you finish the quick check early, feel free. If you finish the quick check early, I, uh, if you finish the quick check early, you can feel free to go to the homework. Again, it's one and three and one and three down below there too. Okay? Feel free to work on that. Because the quick check shouldn't take you very long. Okay? Hold on to that in case you want to use it. Yep. You might not sharpen that. I don't know. Okay.